Okay, we're going to take a look now at the 13th in the Sanchin Kyushu Tegumi uh, sessions. And this is linked up with the double fist thrust again. Now, as I've repeated in the films that you saw the last time, uh, there are many ways. There's a duality, a yin and a yang. Okay, we have the white crane technique, which is the concussive actions. We have the black tiger, which is the compressive actions. And this is what we're going to follow through. Now, last segment in this and the 12th segment in the Kyushu Sanchin Teguma, Tegumi, excuse me, uh, we used the white crane method, the striking or the concussion. Now you're going to see the results using the black tiger compressive actions. Now, these are dangerous as usual, and um, I want you to use a restraint when you start practicing these right away. Now, these techniques are dangerous. They were designed to seriously uh, wound and or cessate um, the opponent. So when you do this, build up to it slowly and surely. Get the results, get the feeling, see the effects that it has on the body with light pressure. And then you can start building up until you reach that point where you understand, okay, this is maybe uh, where I stop because any, any further I'm going to cause serious damage to the person's um, anatomy. Uh, and physiology and, of course, functionality. So you need to be cautious with this technique. And it's uh, a very powerful one. If you do hand conditioning and you do a lot of seizing actions, uh, we have seizing drills here on the channel, um, but also the uh, exercises, okay, whether it's the giri jars or digging into sand, however you practice that, that's... Uh, your your art your style but it's the seizing grip that you want to develop for this technique so thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for the extended version